Hey, welcome back. It's Canadian Crispy Bacon, and uh, this week uh, we're running, I'm going to be doing two of these videos. Actually, you'll see, you'll notice the same thing. Greg, you're running the same thing, but actually I'm running one video will be a Project Cars and one will be a set of Corsa. Uh, I run a couple of groups there. I actually run a number of Facebook groups. Uh, this one specifically related to Project Cars and a set of Corsa where we have a bunch of uh, fellow drivers there, fellow sim drivers, and uh, in in different categories, of course, uh, one being a set of Corsa and one project cars. Uh, so we're doing a little test. We're doing time trials, uh, but we're doing a little bit of, t of a comparison test to see what the difference in the physics and actual lap times of this uh, GT2 uh, BMW M3 going around Spa. Uh, so if you haven't guessed already, this is the Project Cars, this will be the Project Cars video, and I'm going to take you around for a couple of laps just to see uh, what I felt and uh, what I think about this and my findings so far. I haven't really tested it too, too much, um, and to be honest, I haven't been running too much GT3 on Spa lately uh, in, a, like, say, a competitive uh, nature at all. So uh, bear with me and uh, let's let's go. So this is just a two-lapper, nothing too serious. Uh, coming up on all rouge, taking this at six, six gear. Yes, I am six gear right here. Now you'll hear a lot of debates whether you take fifth or punch down the fifth and go up to six. Um, you know that will be teach you to their own. As usual, project cars, very beautiful, very beautiful. Now this obviously isn't the time trial version, but just for video purposes, I thought I'd put a few, a few AI in the track, running them at about 90% here. A little bit of glowing of the brake rotors, a little bit of flame, fire breathing dragon, and I'm stepping it out a little bit in the ass end. I make some adjustments there, I think, with my camera maybe. Uh, I, I have dropped a lot of... Ooh. <laughs> Uh, is this drifting? Maybe I got a drift set up in there. I'm not sure. So up, I'm using uh, lowered it a little bit, of course. Uh, to, uh, added, taking away some toe, dropped a lot of camber out of it. Maybe I'm thinking I might put a little bit out of the rear. I'm running at like a point, uh, point one minus point one in the rear, and like a one point five or something like that, minus one point five up front. Uh, that's 1.6. Of course, anybody who wants to know or wants to pick my brain with regards to this setup, be more than happy to help you out. Just uh, in the comments section there on the video, just uh, just ask. Bus stop's always been. Uh, I don't do too bad in here, but I know I could go. A lot faster in here. Just got to get it figured out. Get used to the project cars business. And I've got to tell you, it's hard switching back and forth. It's hard going from project cars to set of course, to set of course, to project cars. Especially when you put so much time in different cars, all the different disciplines. Coming around on lap two here. Um, okay, so my find right off the bat. I mean, I found that there's like a three second difference. So project cars is faster now. It's faster, better. Faster mean better physics? I don't think. I think that the physics are much better on project cars. Or sorry, on a set of course. But uh, you know, everybody has their feelings on it. I'm sure. Uh, there is no doubt, though. I mean, it was very good. Now this is an early morning run as well. Uh, the sun is just coming up, so the track is cold. I'm not getting my optimum grip. I thought that the, uh, the M3 here would be a good car to use for between here and a set of Corsa. And of course using Spa, there's not a lot of tr tracks to choose from where I can get the exact same track and car combination. So this is what I chose. See, so yeah, I'm stepping it out again. So that's a consistent thing for me uh, with the SM. I'm not using tracks control here, by the way. Uh, and I think I'm only, you know, I'm not running super fast speeds here. Uh, I think I'm down into the low 220s. Get 
that merc behind me harassing me, that AI harassing, harassing. Finally, Where's the social justice warriors when you all want, eh? Coming up to the bus stop here, some nice heartbreaking again. Uh, I don't like it, but, uh, you know, uh, I just, I don't think I've mastered it like some have. <laughs> I forgot to, because right here is the start finish on a set of Corsa coming across here. And, of course, private cars, you have to go around and make this right uh, down Pitt Street and start finish just down that way. Oh, and he passes me. Good bugger. And we're across the line. So listen, guys, I really appreciate your uh, coming out and supporting and watching my videos. Uh, listen, if you can, uh, just take a quick second and hit that like button. Uh, really appreciate that. Definitely, if you already haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I think there's a little bell thing there to let you know when that, uh, because I'll be putting up some live feeds later on if you're interested in watching that, any of my live stuff. I do a lot of live broadcasting. I have over 500 different videos and stuff in my YouTube channel, so take, have a peek. And listen, I just want to thank you guys again for coming out and watching my stuff. Any comments, please feel free to put them in the comment section. Bye for now.